Welcome back, family. You know what I need y'all guys to do. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me, guys. My channel is growing. Despite not small beginnings. You understand? Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Comment, family. I'm trying to get into the YouTube algorithm. YouTube tripping sometimes, but I'm going to keep peddling it anyway. Support my channel by going to the Cash App, guys, and donating there. It's dollar sign drummer 1980. I do appreciate you in advance. You also can support my channel by clicking on the super thanks located under the video, guys. Donating there as well. And like how I tell each and every one of y'all, I do appreciate you. Ten folds over, hands down. I'm proud. Well, well, well. I'm back one more time. You know my motto. I don't make believe, I make believers family. I'm your gracious host, Drama, 1980 Hill. I'm from Columbia, South Carolina. I hope you're having a good day today. And if that's not the case, ask yourself why. Because remember, happiness is an inside job. Did you catch it? Let me say that one more time for great measure. Happiness is an inside job and it will always be and internal with fellow guys i'm back today again with the reaction from my man tarik the she y'all go check out microphone check the documentary is out as of now y'all need to go check it out in theaters around the country support the brother all right no matter what the naysayers say did you hear me don't worry about what the naysayers saying all right matter of fact i'm gonna make a video because things are getting out of control and i wasn't gonna say anything but I think we need to examine the people that's attacking because it kind of give me those agent type vibes because I know this was coming because the person that's constantly doing this has a track record, but that's neither here or there. But guys, I'm going to call your attention to the screen. Let's go. Yes, I got on my dashiki. You see, I don't hate Africans. I love Africans. OK, I love all people. But I just don't like the people that's crooked and scamming and conniving and tethering and speaking out against us. That's all. I just have a nasty taste in my mouth for them. But other than that, I support my brothers. You see, I got on a nice dashik. Yes, and I have meaning in my closet. All right, guys? Let's go, guys. Let's get um Hegel Borg. Boy, these names. Hegel Borg. What's happening? Hi. Um. So... I, I've i been intermittently involved in the, um, not really, I don't really deal with kind of critical race theory and uh, social re reproduction theory and oppressor press dynamics, but I'm just curious about, um, it seems like your focus uh, is reparations. So I was wondering, like, are you looking at like an, an individual, like disbursement mechanism? Or a like generalized like like a trust where things will go into like local initiatives. No, like, no, 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 because the white supremacists will finesse the hell out of that. Absolutely not. We're looking at individual payments, just like with Native Americans, individual checks for foundational Black Americans in the form of cash payments. That's what we're looking at. Notice, guys, whenever that we talk about reparations. It's always somebody else that's glamming on to us all of the time. Black and brown. Black and LGBT. Black and trans. Oh, black and women. See, that there is an old tactic that they always use. The LGBT is automatic included if you FBA or you from America, black Americas, for the people that don't understand. Okay. From the people that came out of chattel slavery the descendants of those people okay so it's not for everybody it's for the people that's direct descendants for the people that came out of child of slave okay let's get one thing straight flat line all right so it already includes women lgbt trans whoever now that black and brown thing there is no coalition guys Forget about that. I know that your heart pitter patter and you want to just include everybody, but that's where you mess up because the more that you include other people in the claim, the more it gets diluted and tainted. It weakens it. Right. There's a lot of presuppositions in critical race theory and, and um, social reproduction theory. And I tend to reject that on the grounds that it's unfalsifiable and it's based on like inductive post hoc, like reasoning okay um, let's slow down slow down sweetie slow let's take it back 
You keep mentioning critical race theory. Now, what does that have to do with anything? Well, because you specifically mentioned uh, with Redacted a structure of oppression. Um, that's what critical race theory, uh, like Dubois, like Bell Hooks, um, like some uh, Franz, uh, Fanon, kind of that interaction between like that school coming out of the Frankfurt School um, uh, in the second half of the 20th century. So I'm, I just tend to reject uh, social reproduction theory and top-down dynamics. Social like, reproduction theory? This kind of put me in the mind of that old In Living Color uh, skit with uh, Damian Wang's on it. We must internalize the flatulation of the matter by transmitting the effervescence of the Indonesian proximity in order to further segregate the crux of my venereal infection. Now, if I may retain my liquids here for one moment, I'd like to continue the redundance of my quote-unquote intestinal tract See, because to preclude on the issue of world domination would only circumvent, <coughs> excuse me, circumcise the revelation that reflects the aphrodisiac symptoms which now perpetrates the Jericho's activation. <laughs> so, by do not missing, allow me to expose my colon once again. <laughs> the ramification inflicted on the incision place within the fallopian cavities serves to be holistic taken from the latin word jalapeno <laughs> this woman all over the place see this is the type of people that they are put as a lawyer or a judge or a prosecutor she constantly throwing out four syllable words five syllable words and the average person would be confused you guys do not be kerfuffle about this okay don't be moved off your square okay see she's trying to talk over people's head for you don't understand intentionally that way she can sneak some stuff in so bitch be careful with these type because these type here are very slick very slick slippery as a eel in all you heard me as a eel yes e-e-l a eel in oil okay so be very weary about these people like this what is what's that so social reproduction theory is this theory it's kind of uh it's kind of cyclical cyclical and self-referential where it presupposes that the system we exist in works to reproduce itself and this is replicated across um every critical theory especially and it's also re replicated across and um yeah. coming out of the french existentialist with foucault and derrida and oh, Simone de okay, let, let's, let's take it back let's because you're okay right now this is babbling Okay. What well, you no, doing? I'm. You asked no, no, no. The question, slow down. Slow down, ma'am. Slow down. Slow down. Because you're babbling. This is not babbling. This is answering. Slow down. Question. Slow down, ma'am. You're not being slick. I'm you're asking. Bab so that's you're that's babbling. Slow question, down. Slow because down. Everyone slow who down. knows anything about this field knows I'm not. Ma'am, slow your babbling little self down. You're just babbling. You're, you're deliberately not saying anything. You're just babbling. You're not even trying to make any sense. You, you're deliberately babbling. We live under one system of white supremacy. Okay, let's make so, it real simple. But there's sure. a lot of disagreements there, right? Okay. Yeah, which is why I mentioned the critical okay. let's, let's get theory into it. in Frankfurt School, right? Okay, forget Frankfurt School nothing. We are under systematic white supremacy. Is that either true or false? Are you familiar with Kimberly Crenshaw and intersectionality theory? Because um, that contradicts that. Okay. What theory no. contradicts systematic white supremacy? No. Well, it it contradicts a one system of unilateral top down like kind of reproduction of the current social forces. There's nothing that contradicts that. Actually, there's yes, because they, uh, it, uh, intersectionality theory kind of rejects the idea there's one top down manifestation. They see there's an intersecting like there's systems within systems, nested systems. There's only one system with white supremacy. Name another system more powerful. Well, they say um, patriarchy is what they plead no, to. No, no, no. 
No, Sorry? no, no, because bl- no, because black men don't have no patriarchy because we're. Well, they undefined. disagree, which is why I mentioned right critical theory and social reduction because they disagree with you and like a lot of the a lot of no, the, this is out there in no, academia. There's nothing to disagree with. We're under white supremacy, so there's no black patriarchy. We don't have power as black men. But a lot we're of black women would vehemently disagree with that. Um, no, 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 because black women and black men are in the same boat under the system of white supremacy. Well, not according to the black woman, Kimberly Crenshaw. She uh, well, these, these are people who are paid by universities to spew this stuff. They're under the system of white supremacy. Well, there's so, no patriarchy. Don't trump white. So supremacy. I'm just. So I want to get back to see what it do. The cumulus clouds come down in my medulla. I've got them, but I can see clearly out my retina. I mean my pupils. For then I can psychologically obtain the astronaut man shadow. Don't make no sense. Jibber jabber. See? Notice this tactic. They always quote a black person. Bell hooks. Or they try to Kimberly. People that's on the payroll. See, this is the type. Let me take your mind back, okay? Do anybody remember the guy that killed those uh, church people in Charleston, South Carolina by the one named Dylan Root? What did his black friend say? Oh, I never seen him racist. He wasn't racist to me. See, that is the one black friend rule. You understand? Like the guy up in the Buffalo shoot. Do anybody remember that case? What did his black friend say? Oh, he didn't seem racist to me. See, they go get those people and say, look, I got a black friend. What? Listen at what they say. We don't care what they say. Just because somebody looked like me doesn't mean a hill of beans you understand that i don't care about that skin don't make me no never mind it's our experience that we identify with it's not the skin okay if i have a white person and they are cool and they understand truth i can rock with them but i'm not i done said this a million times listen to what i'm about to say i'm not getting on board with no white supremacy okay i'm just not doing that you can do what you do and I'm going to do what I'm going to do. But as far as that, if they don't want to come to the truth, they don't want to come to the light. Guess what? I'm going to continue to say this until I die. If you are a white person or Asian or whatever that you are, if you in the truth, I don't have a problem. But now you're not going to hoard the resources and then put your old sleuth foot out there to trip black people up and lie on them and set them up. The court system's crooked. Everything is turned upside down. And then you say, well, look at those black. They can't build. I wonder why. Every time that you try to attempt to build something, they come and trip you up all the time. All the time. Not one time. All the time. And it's a proven track record of it. So I'm not just pulling this out of my glutes. This here is the God Heaven truth, the unadulterated truth that I'm talking about, right? Everything that I just said, go look at any establishment, a town, a city, anything that black people try to build and look at the results of it. Now, either that's the truth or either that's a lie. Now, make me out to be a lie. They'll run roads, imminent domain, nuisance junction, anything to get you off of the lane, anything to close the establishment now. Even black farmers can't even form. You understand that? So what I'm saying is don't come to me with foolishness. Because I can see through the matrix. I see the numbers. Huh? You understand me, don't you? I want to make sure that we clear. I understand. I can look through the matrix, even though I hear these Coon, Clarence Thomas, Jesse Lee Peterson, Candace Owens, all them talking. Oh, no, no, no. It's black people. No, I'm sitting there looking right at the white supremacist. Huh? I don't want to hear it because I understand. It's called pattern recognition. That's why you need to know history because a lot of times, most of the time, history repeats itself unless something breaks the cycle. I'm trying to help to break the cycle on this thing. To open up people's eyes so they can see. One person that I help is good. One can help two. Two can help four. So on and so forth. But whenever that you see it, you know how to operate. That's all that I'm saying. So if you are one of those people that stands on truth, I can rock with you. But if you're not, 
That's fine. I'm vehemently against you. Simple as that. So this isn't going to be because good white women have more power than black men and black women. So, so that trumps patriarchy. That, that, that brings white you women. No, 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 no. White women. The Karen us all the time. The Karens have way more power than us. A white woman just got a black man killed recently. So, this is but, what we were talking about earlier. A white woman called the police and got not, a innocent black man killed. So that kills the that's whole case. Um, but oh, no, 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 that's a that's a white man. White supremacy. Uh, well, no, I was white saying, women, point didn't white actually women, define white women in the system of white supremacy. So have here's more what I want to get to. Why so, no no white women have more power than black men, so that kills the patriarchy argument. But go ahead, ma'am. Where is the lie? Can anybody show me the lie? Can anybody show me a whole pattern of cases where they can go against what he said? Can anybody show me? I can show you a whole litany, a whole diluge, a plethora of cases, not only from this year but from the years prior. And I'm going to just bring one that everybody would recognize when I called the name, one by the name of Jonathan Mays. Did anybody see that? And what happened? Okay. Shall I continue? Uh, how about Michael Irvin? Do anybody remember that case? Whenever the woman said that he assaulted her, do anybody remember one by the name of Michael Irvin? Yes. Shall I continue? Cuban Gooding Jr. He was drunk just putting his hand on the woman's shoulder. The woman said that he violated her. Shall I continue? Oh, guys, I'll be here until Jesus come back. And that's the truth. White women will get you in trouble simply about their word. And now that's the truth. Either I'm lying. If a white woman accused me of something right now, even though if I do get out, look how much money I'm going to spend on legal fees and all that stuff. You see how that works? Even if I do get out, and guess what's going to happen? If they find me telling the truth, nothing is going to happen to her. You understand that? She get the walkway unscathed. You understand, don't you? Come on, y'all get your mind up. I'm trying to get somebody to think. If she just accused me just her work, it could be some woman that looked like the woman off murder she wrote. You understand? It could be some homely white woman, some ugly, long nosed, frog eyed white woman that come and say, He touched me. And here come me, plastered across the news, in the newspaper, all across social media, being tried on public opinion as well as the legal system. The kangaroo courts And I have to get in there and prove her wrong So I'm going to have to spend Tens of thousands of dollars To try to get off of something That's actually 100% False emphatically right huh. Look how much money That I spent You see And then my reputation will be Sully you understand that don't you Reputation is a lot guys You understand So what he's saying Patriarchy, white supremacy is Trump patriarchy too. And that's the truth. Pay attention to this, guys. The weapons race, right? The weapons, the nukes and all that. Look what countries have and look what countries don't. And that's all that I'm going to say on that. Look what countries have them. If you don't know, just a quick Google search will liberate you, okay? A quick Google search will vindicate me, all right? Go Google this. Your phone is your friend. Okay. Go Google. Look at what countries have nukes. And whenever somebody try to get one, Nelson Mandela. Oh, uh uh. He's a criminal. We got to lock him up. Not according to Kimberly Crenshaw, but uh, again. Uh, but according to me, but go ahead. I wanted, I wanted to get to the point. So, kind of what framework, uh, like, I guess, epistemic framework are you operating within to, like, assess, to make an assessment of kind of, as Hegel would say, a geist of white supremacy? Because it seems like you're presupposing that which you set out to prove. Um, so, like, what are you just looking at a convergence of historical forces? Are you kind of performing, like, a post hoc analysis? And then, like, right? 
uh, hoping that future events. Uh, future- I'm, I'm going by what they told me. The, the white supremacists told us they were white supremacists. When they were setting up things, they said, hey, we're setting up a system of white supremacy and black people, you're going to be inferior. They but did that all the way that, to the founding, founding fathers uh, or um, um, Abraham Lincoln. He said he assigned the position of superiority to the white race. Um, Andrew Jackson was a white supremacist by words. Um, 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 uh, so, so many of them, all of the founding fathers spewed white supremacist rhetoric. So that begs the question, do you believe that once a bad thing happens in a country, in the founding of a country, is that is that country now guilty of the original sin? And that, the that original country, sin never, when did the original sin stop? Well, I'm referring. Well, that's what I'm asking you. Is like when? At what point? Um, you like, haven't stopped sinning. Well, I personally sin every day because I'm uh, I'm I'm a sinner, right? Um, yeah, we're the all original sinners, but, sin, which is anti-black racism has never stopped, ma'am. So, but you do say, like, the original sin of the United States is anti-black racism. But, like, yeah. how do you say that that reproduced itself throughout history, right, in the United States? So, because you're you're using in, uh, individual anecdotes and kind of individual e- evidence and kind of, like, doing a, uh, like, post hoc selective, like, selectively applicable historicity and then saying, like... Family, do y'all hear, I had to mute her. Do y'all hear this Mayo Babble family? Do y'all hear this Mayo Babble family? Y'all hear this? And these are some of the people who be at your job acting like your buddies. Now, she knows she's full of it, but she thinks if she just Mayo Babbles enough, it'll wear you down and you just eventually will go along. Just a note, because you know all of this is a learning lesson for the family. They feel like if they just babble, it'll wear you down and you eventually go along with her horse crap. Okay, but go ahead, ma'am. So this Talking is actually- about how there's no white supremacy and it's something that we've made up. Well, what are you saying? What are you saying, ma'am? I didn't say that, but actually... I guess the Mayo, ba- like th- I'm using Kimberly Crenshaw's words. So I guess Kimberly Crenshaw, a black woman is guilty of Mayo babble too. Um, you keep just, trying to hide and you trying to hide behind a black person. Actually, that's no, white intersectionality theory is like pushing every single institution nowadays. That's um, white it, it's extremely pervasive. That's like trying to say, well, Candace Owens said, you know, that, that doesn't mean. So but that's what you just did with like, you just pointed to the like Abraham Lincoln is like well Abraham Lincoln said there was therefore structural racism that's what he, he was did. a damn president he was a, a president yeah, so yeah uh, his words about 170 meant, years ago yeah his words meant something you're so talking about that, that's you're, you're talking my about point, some, you're that talking was 170 about an years ago powerless writer but go ahead how can you point to a single like like singular individuals like scattered in constellations throughout his did anybody see the false equivalents Candace Owens Kimberly Crenshaw, Tariq said Thomas Jefferson, and George Washington. And she said that you did the same thing. You see? You see the reason? Presidents talk. Not only them, but you can walk her back with all of them. All of them was right, because all of them went along with the plan. So I don't hold none of them up in high regard, to be honest. If you want to be honest with it, I don't hold none of them up in high regard. They all rotten to the core. Okay? They don't have no heroes. Nowhere. Everybody rotten. Everybody is just uh, out to get what they can get. And they turning us into that. Because a lot of us act like that as well. Now, it don't matter. Sell them dope. It don't matter. Whatever. I just want to just get rich off of me. You know, it's all about me. See, that's the wrong attitude. That's, that's the wrong attitude Okay And I know some of y'all don't like it But I'm not here for you to like me I don't care whether you like me Because I don't know you in the first place And if I did know you You would know I don't care whether you like me or not If you knew me You see how that works mm. And then say Oh this, this person 170 years ago Or this person 50 years ago Is evidence of structural racism because that's that's circular reasoning that's presupposing that what you set out to prove um so that don't make no sense that makes zero sense what you just well, yeah said. it does because like you are does. you're operating from a, a a axiomatic framework that oh america is a white supremacist nation 
And then you're, you are interpreting history through that lens and selectively looking for evidence and like, and then the evidence is, personal the evidence subjective is, is, inductive is, reasoning. The evidence is in them practicing white supremacy. That's the evidence. Can you define white supremacy for me? White supremacy, you're dominating and controlling people based on race. So circular, because then you're looking at past events to that. I'm talking about now. a system that is built on everything like constituting or being affected by race. I didn't say nothing about the past. I'm talking about now. White supremacy is now. White supremacy has never changed. So do you think so do you think that uh, evident you, do you think any type of difference in outcome is a prima facie evidence of right on equal unequal beginning or do you think that like is, is that is this, are we attributing a unilateral causation to all like demographic differences because that seems to be what's happening what are you saying in relation to white supremacy and how I'm asking does- if you think this is a univariate problem we have a white supremacy problem, ma'am. So, yeah, you do think that social forces can be redu- reduced to a singular causality. Do you think any th- system exists that's not dominated by white supremacy? Can you name it? Um, I don't know. It depends on what you define as white supremacy, because I don't really. I, I just told you. Well, it's I reject simple. that definition because it's circular. People, it people classified as white who dominate and control people based on race. So. Where's the evidence of that? What's all systems? That's every system circular. That we, the evidence is the system, and I define yeah. white supremacy as the all, system. All areas of people activity. There's nine areas of people activity. It's real simple. It's real simple. There's nine areas of activity. Labor, law, education, um, medical, sex, war, religion, economics, in those nine systems, which ones are not dominated by white supremacy? So, you, so that's what I'm asking. So you think that any demographic difference, right? Every area of activity. The end is evidence of the axiomatic set that you select, right? Is that what you're saying? Now, I'm asking you to name the system or name the activity that's not dominated by white supremacy. Well, I, I just want to get a, I just want to get a good feel for the structure of your logic here because it Got seems it. like you're I, like, it's a real. I'm, I'm asking a, a question that a five year old could understand. What system or area of activity is not dominated by white supremacy? Well, I would say DEI department. What the hell is DEI department? Diversity, Equity, Inclusion Departments and universities. That's completely, that's controlled by the white supremacists too because that doesn't work for black folks. They finesse that into working like for Notre white Scotsman. people. Too. Like no, it no, no. The, the, the DEI office, that's another finesse. That's, that's dominated by white supremacy too because diversity, equity, and inclusion, they've made that so that white people can benefit from that too. White LGBT people and white women, white people who got 125th Native American, they can be a minority and that can be looked at as diversity. So that's a finesse too. That's dominated by white supremacy. We don't benefit from it for, as black people. So name something else, ma'am. You're proving my point. Oh, I agree that it's a finesse. I agree that it's a finesse. I don't agree that the finesse is because of white supremacy. Yeah, the white that supremacy DEI they benefit is a from. straw man, and it's used to it's used to like create clickbait and kind of collective outrage, so people can point. It, it's point it's for these. white so, people. To, it's for white supremacists to sit here and act like they're including black people, but they use tricky language so they can sneak white people in well, to get the benefits. It's, a it's another white supremacist. It's so suburban finesse. neoliberals can pat themselves on the back and then not feel guilty for fucking it's everyone over with the tax code for fucking feather, people over with the white zoning liberals, laws. White conservatives, they're the same. Two Malcolm wings X on the same birds. Two wings on the same birds. Malcolm birds. X I just let that play, guys, for y'all just to hear it, okay? DEI is no other system. It's unilateral across all this old foolishness. People like this, you have to be wise with them. You have to be careful with them because she sounds as though she knows what she's talking about because she speaks with confidence, but in actuality, She's a wolf. She's a wolf. And she clothed them. 
And now she bringing up Malcolm X name. Now I want y'all to hear this. Notice something that she said that she do agree that DEI diversity, equity, inclusion was a finesse. We know this already. Tell us something new. We already know this stuff. See, and this is what people hate because we know before you even tell us because of the patterns. We know already minority. We know already affirmative action. We know already. It's the same trick, just different players. It's the same old trick, different language, different players. But the same trick is nothing new under the sun, guys. We seeing the same thing just repeat itself. But now the Bible say that that Wilson will be increased in the last take. So we we know it now as soon as they say it, because their job is to not give you anything. The job is to keep you at the bottom. See, and I don't want to get biblical with you. Now, some of y'all don't believe in the Bible, but I do. The people that rule over you believe in it because it's going exactly like how it says. Word for word. There ain't nothing new under the sun. And if it's new, it's not true. If it's true, it's not new. <laughs> you understand that? So, but the Bible said Wilson will be increased. He, well, Malcolm X said the exact same thing. He said the white no, liberal and the white conservative. He said the white the liberal is a special type of pernicious. He They're the same the, thing. Are you familiar with the study that uh, that white liberals actually dumb down their speech when they talk to black people? Like, okay, let me get some more people. I, I don't want to hear Mayo babble. Uh, all right, she's just the arguments of bad faith, and she's just jumping from subject to subject. Family, that was just a quick lesson. Um, and that's another thing too. I had to cut her off because one thing you'll learn about them, two things. So this was a lesson here. Number one, when they start doing that Mayo babble, it's to wear you down so that eventually you'll go along with them. They, they got Mayo babble for hours. And also they are, t- uh, she was doing a good job on me. Might I add time wasting trolls. The name of the game is to sit here and waste your damn time babbling well family you heard the conversation i'm not gonna prolong the time tell me what you think in the comment section and go support to read guys i don't care what the haters say go support to me people calling Tariq a scammer how can you be a scammer if if i tell you i'm doing something and i just ask for donations and then i go through with the project how can i be a scammer in other words, you trying to indict the people that's supporting them then, right? You trying to call them dumb or something. And I take great offense to that. Now, you don't want to get me on your case. Now, I have been sent back, guys. Tariq haven't scammed nobody. And these are the same talking points that come from the haters. The same talking points. Nothing new. Well, his name is Marcus. Okay. And if he did do something in Detroit, Okay. So now we are indicting people off of what people did long years ago so people can't change? Huh? Oh, don't get me started, guys. Because, matter of fact, I'm going to make a whole video on it. So if the people want to come for me, come for me. But you better be prepared. Because usually I don't bother people unless that they start tearing up the community whenever you start tearing up the community that's when my radar come on that's when I lock in and I sat back and I watch because it came out of nowhere it came off of some old bogus information see he was talking about me no he was not no he was not did he call your name he was talking about fresh and fit and you tuck it as he was talking about you okay but I but uh if everything continues I'm going to say somebody. Nobody else won't have to say anything, but I'm going to say somebody. Okay? Wasn't you asking for money? Wasn't you homeless? Oh, okay then. All right. So you can't call Tariq no grifter or no scammer because he didn't get the people money and then keep the people money and did something else with it. He did exactly what he said he was going to do. Okay? Now, if he took the people money, maybe then you have a case. Okay, maybe then you have a case. But other than that, you start to sign kind of like an agent to me. An agent provocateur. And I'm going to just leave it at that, guys. But if this continue, I'm going to definitely make a video. And if the person want to have a conversation, we can have a conversation and put it out on YouTube. All right. Yeah. 
That's where I'm at with it. No, I'm not going on their platform because people don't want to act fairly. So if we gonna have a conversation, let's have a conversation. Okay. No over talking, no screaming, no name calling. Just put the facts on the table and let the people decide. All right. But guys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Come on back to see me, guys. So now it's time for me to depart from this place. And until next time, peaks. And remember, there is more.